Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about um, our first single, Away From The Screaming Car and Dancing, which was made, we recorded it in 1980, came out in 1981, and um, the subject behind it was psychological TV series, dramas, because there was quite a lot of weird stuff going around on the TV at the time. Um, series like uh, Mystery Imagination, um, The Champions, and uh, other things, you know, like weird plays and stuff like that. Everybody seemed to be getting injected and uh, they'd wake up in some sort of dream state or... You know, uh, was it fantasy? Was it uh, reality? You know, they could be anywhere. So I was quite um, interested in this um, sort of TV broadcast, and I kind of, kind of got quite obsessed with it. And so uh, when me and Mark was writing the, the the lyrics for this, we had this idea of uh, these deep scary sort of TV programs that um, made you think. And uh, so, away from the screaming car, basically, a woman sort of loses her mind and she has these flashbacks, kind of going in and out of sort of, uh, you know, what we call a sort of uh, a mental hospital now. And uh, she has this sort of, sort of flashback of in the woodlands, in a car, um, and catches fire, and then she's piecing back other flashbacks in her mind about a normal life, you know, the sort of thing. I was, you know, with my husband, and, <laughs> and then I don't know where I was. So... I think when you look at it now, it still sounds great. It still sounds great. Um, quite different in the structure to other songs of that genre. Um, quite a long outro with guitar synths. Uh, Christine uh, did a great job. Because we, we mainly, we'd only just started getting into the synths, me and Mark then. Uh, but uh, Christine did some f amazing, amazing stuff at the end there. Uh, so I think you'll agree with me. It's a, it's, it's a song um, that was meant to be the B-side, but it stood up and uh, it's, it's, it gets so many more hits than dancing. So um, they were both A-sides at the time, uh, a double A-side single. Um, but I must say, I'm not just saying that because, you know, I was involved in the writing, etc. of the song. It's still actually a great song to listen to. Um, recorded on 8-track. Um, we didn't spend many hours in the studio, probably all in all, probably, I don't know, 8 or 9 or something, 10 maybe, maximum. And the mix, well, well it was probably done in an hour really um so um continue to enjoy it because it's um it's uh, our, our most popular track and uh yeah still love it okay bye guys keep playing the, the music <laughs>